Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am back with you all with another video. Um, something that was, um, I think I've talked about this before. Um, when I said something about silence is, is gold, silence isn't golden. Um, but this is like, I guess, a continuation of what I've already said. Um, I wanted to talk about being the mouthpiece for God. Um, there is something so special that happens when God gets a hold of you, okay? Um, some of you all may know exactly what I'm talking about, um, especially, especially when you have been quiet all the time. Especially when you have had parents that have always told you to shut up and be quiet or you were just naturally quiet, you know, just, just that naturally quiet person and even back then the devil tried to steal your voice and you didn't even you know realize that he didn't want you to use your voice and for some he, he used your parents to do that um to interfere with you using your voice but there is no devil in hell y'all that can shut you up anymore because the power of god is greater all right Th than any grip the devil can have on you all right have you, you know, thinking what you had to say did not matter? Had you thinking your opinion did not matter? Had you thinking something was wrong with you because you couldn't say anything that you really wanted to say? Um, some of y'all got popped in the mouth, knocked on the floor, yelled and screamed at, you know, putting fear in you, you know, making you afraid to open up your mouth. What you had to say kept getting shut down and you did not understand why. And it kept you shut down all the way into your adulthood. But then, but then, God got a hold of you and you wondering who are you now and where has the old you gone? The people that knew you as quiet, now looking at you like, oh, she got a whole lot of talking to do now. Oh, he got a whole lot of talking to do now. But they just don't know. God got a hold of you. You best to believe it because that's exactly what happened. God got a hold of you, all right? All these years, you felt like you were about to burst, scared to speak, like the devil had a muzzle on your mouth. And spiritually, he probably did, all right? Had you walking around wanting to say something, but many times it felt like the devil had glued your mouth shut. Had you going around, you know, have you going back and forth in your mind, um, I want to say something. I want to say something, but I'm not. I should have said something, but I did not. They might not accept what I have I have to say, so I'm not going to say anything. And all this time, you have been extremely comfortable in your closed mouth season. And that closed mouth, mouth season lasted for a very long time and entirely too long. But that season is over, right? That season is over you are about to burst all right this year i have heard message after message y'all about opening up your mouth and it is time i strongly believe that this is the season to do that um because i keep hearing it over and over and the enemy tries to shut you up and keep your mouth closed because he knows it's something about you that if you open up your mouth that many will be affected in a good way way by the words that come out of your mouth because God is in it. Any way the devil can affect you using your voice, he will do it. Even getting laryngitis over and over, strep throat over and over, um, your throat hurting um, all the time out of nowhere over and over, drainage, all this stuff is connected to you using your voice. Keep having to clear your throat all the time, throat dry all the time. Doctor think that you got sinus and allergy problems. But you didn't, and you didn't took all this sinus and allergy medication and nothing is working. Some of this stuff is spiritual, y'all. Your speech been interrupted, causing you to stumble and fumble over your words. You can't get your words to come out clear sometimes. You can't seem to get your words together. Y'all, some of this stuff is the enemy, you know, still trying to shut you up. Oh, she wants to pray for other people now. Oh, that ain't fixing to happen. Oh, she trying to help somebody with her messages. Oh, that ain't fixing to happen. 
This the devil right here. Oh, let me try to shut this down. Let me make her throat hurt. Let me do this. Let me do this to her. Let me do that to her. Oh, she want to influence people now. Let me try to mess that up. So maybe that would shut her up again. It would not. If God got a hold of you, the enemy cannot override it. Pray over your voice. Plead the blood of Jesus over your voice. It is your mouthpiece for him. Somebody needs what you got to say, all right? I know you can't blame everything on the enemy. You know, some things just happen, but there has been times when my throat was just fine. And as soon as I started to deliver a message on here, as soon as I press record, my throat started acting up. It gets dry. Sometimes I have to go back and edit parts out because I started coughing. Nothing was happening before I started recording the message. Now that is the enemy, all right? Or my throat would act up before I'm even finished recording the message. Why? Because the enemy don't want the message out. He don't want you to use your voice. He don't want whatever message it is that God gave you. He don't want it out. Use your voice anyway, because the spiritual warfare is a part of this territory. Um, Acts chapter 18, 9 through 10. And the Lord said to Paul one night in a vision, Do not be afraid, but go on speaking, and do not be silent. For I am with you, and no one will attack you to harm you. For I have many in this city who are my people. There are people of God that will back you up and support you. So stop being afraid to speak. When God speak, you speak. And he has already spoken through me to you. Open up your mouth and you, you know, use your voice. That fear is a crutch that you lean on as an excuse to not use your voice. But you're not excused. God did not give us a mouth just to eat, but to speak as well. And as long as you continue to walk with Christ, the bolder you will get. You won't be able to just hold it in. You'll be like Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back and I could not. Y'all, I cannot tell y'all how many times. <laughs> this fits me right here, okay? This fits me right here. All right be that mouthpiece for god it's hard to remain the same when god has put his stamp of approval on you like you try to shut out the move of god on you but he keeps pressing he keeps pressing he keeps pressing on you he tugs on your spirit and on your heart in a way that nobody else can to the point that you have to take notice you have to take notice, all right? So that is all I have for you all today. Um, if you have not subscribed, please make sure you consider um, doing that as well. Um, and that's it. That's all I have for you all today. And I hope you all receive the message also. Um, but yeah, be that mouthpiece for God, all right? God wants you to use your mouth not just for eating, but also to speak for him as well all right so i will see you all in the next video